Hey friends, I'm going to show you something a bit different this week. We are looking at using rope to make an impromptu spreader bar. In all honesty, I don't use this tie as much in pure rope sessions. It's just not that helpful to shape in a lot of circumstances. But I do use it a lot for things like BDSM, maybe a little bit of humiliation, maybe a little bit of service submission. It's really useful, really adaptable. So it's a good thing to have in your back pocket. So this version of the spreader starts with a single column tie and one wrist. Some of this stuff can be quite difficult to film, so we deliberately tie things super loose to make it easier. See, I can get multiple fingers in this gap. That's not what you want when you tie it. You want it so it's a two finger gap, not a five or six finger gap. And then we're going to tie a hojo cuff. If you're unsure how to do this, we made a full video on it. And then we're just going to go back and forth between the hojo cuff and the original single column tie. Now I'm going to start wrapping these horizontal lines together. Bear in mind it's a lot easier to do this if you're using finger hooking. So again, sorry to be a pain in the ass, but check out the video on finger hooking if you want to see how to do that. So obviously the longer you make this, the more wrapping you will do at this point. So if you don't need the wrist this far apart, you don't have to tie them this far apart. So now I'm getting to the end, I want to finish by tying the bite of the single column tie to the end of the rope. And I'm going to make that stay in place better by going through this cuff first. And I think you're going to wiggle around quite a bit, put another knot on for safety. Stars are having a little shift around here to show the various ways you can position the arms once this cuff's on. We're going to make a longer video showing how you can use the spreader for various different purposes but this will give you a few ideas to start with. So some people ask why we don't create more wraps going horizontally. At the risk of creating a visual nightmare here I'm just going to add bring another screen up of um, tying this but with a shorter spread and with more wraps in between and you'll get a good sense of aesthetically why it looks a bit wrong. So we're tying exactly the same thing as before but I'm going to make multiple passes here, more than I did on the first version. And you can see that once I make multiple passes, the connector in the middle starts to become thick and the cuffs on the other side. So it starts to look, I don't know, it kind of looks quite ugly because it makes it look quite bulky. But you may feel differently, so it's nothing wrong with it. You can do it if you want to, and it also makes a more rigid bar in the middle. But it is um doesn't look pretty to me. See what you think. Fun fact. Places like YouTube, Instagram, etc. Not a huge fan of content like this. Uh, we are not their best friends. So if you want to support us, then uh, please consider using the Patreon link on screen now. If you can give us a pound or so a month, we'd really appreciate that. There's plenty of goodies over there to say thank you. See you later.